Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening to all of you. My name is Muhammad Fidaus Ame and now I want to explain to you my research topic which is the relationship between workload, work, role of conflict and work-life balance among the support staff of Ministry of Tourism of Arts and Culture of Sarawak. My name is Muhammad Fidaus Ame and my supervisor is Miss NG Edward Daum and my and my co-supervisor will be Miss Jacqueline Susan Anarijeng. The background of my study is my dependent my dependent variable will will be work life balance which which from the uh, Mr. Kim of 2014 and Mr. Clark of 2000 work life balance work life balance mean work family balance and it's defined as satisfaction and good functioning at work at home and minimum role of conflict at workstation and also in their life. It is an essential organization that is understand when they, the employees perceive the increase of organization, organizational support and effectors of its commitment as, as the need of the employee and also the organization increase. Moving to the next of dependent variable of my studies, which is the role of conflict. Role of conflict is the activity involving employees spend time in performing their prof professional duties. This is being stated by Mr. Johari Tan and Zukanan in 2017. And Miss Madam Sari Ardianti and Noviada of 2017 defined role conflict as the inconsistency of requirement from the role where its consistency is being judged. Moving to the next part of my research objective, my research objective will be to identify the relationship between workload, role of conflict, and work-life balance among the support staff of Ministry of Tourism of Arts and Culture of Sarawak. Research question will be, is there any relationship, relationship between workload and work-life balance among the support staff of Ministry of Tourism of Sarawak? And my second will be, is there any relationship between role conflict and work-life balance among the support, support staff of Ministry of Tourism of Sarawak. And this is my conceptual framework, as you all can see, my conceptual framework. The, the, the independent variable will be the workload and conflict, and the dependent variable will be the work-life balance. And this is the example of conceptual of framework by Mr. Omar of 2015. And this is my data collection method, the sampling frame, uh, the sampling frame, sampling technique, population, population and sample size, and lastly the unit of analysis. My sam sample frame has been obtained from Ms. Nora Shafika, the head of administrative department of Ministry of Tourism of Sarawak, and the sampling technique will be the convenient sampling. Population will be 120 staff or employee that will be tested by my research. The sample size is will be about 120 employee. The unit of analysis will be the support staff of Ministry of Tourism of Sarawak. And lastly, the sampling frame will be the non-experimental research and correlational research. This is the data collection procedures, as you all can see. The letter of uh, supporting and the letter of intent will be sent to the Ministry of Tourism of Sarawak and will go follow through the telephone and also by the email and the Human Resource Department of Ministry of Tourism will receive the email or even the letter from from me, Muhammad Fidos Ame, for the research uh, steps uh, for my research activity that will be done at the organization and uh, they will have a meeting to allow me to doing my research at the Ministry of Tourism of Sarawak and this is the finding of my demographic data overall I was intended to done my experiment research on 120 people or employee, employee and staff at Ministry of Tourism of Sarawak, but I only received 100 
uh, sample back from the staff and also the employee. The response rate of my research is 83.3%. This is a very high percentage for my experiment, which is involved male and female, and six years cat six uh, category category of years, and also the main race which which can be found in Sarawak, which is Malay, Chinese, Indian, and also Iban, and Melanau. The level of education will be SPM. Diploma and also degree level and the status of them will be single and married Moving to my descriptive analysis Normality correlation and reliability you all can see clearly where the my work life balance has a medium uh, Medium rate which is 0 0.348 uh, for the work life balance for the dep dependent variable of work-life balance and also uh, work-life balance, workload and work-life balance in Ministry of Tourism of Sarawak and also role of conflict between work-life balance in Ministry of Tourism of Sarawak has also the medium rate. For my discussion uh, between the workload and also the role of conflict, both of them has a medium rate which is 0 0.4 0 0.450 and also 0 0.385 in conclusion the work and research has been done for 120 staff by I, by, by I, but I am only received 100 of them the workload conflict are directly related and affect each other for the work life balance and the supervisor or the in charge should consider between between them and also the employer the management staff operation staff and also the private secretary has the most impactful impact on the role of conflict work balance and also the role of conflict work workload and also the work life balance for my recommendation at the end of my research from my point of view i understand that the employer or also the head of the department department should understand the need of their staff focus on the important factors they contribute to the work such as the amenities in the office and also limit the number of the workload and for the suggestion for future researchers the larger uh, the number of samples should be larger for more accurate data and a longer time period as now i'm facing my quarantine for the coronavirus I have the shortages of time to completing my, my work. That's all from me, Muhammad Fidos Ami. Thank you for listening.